welcome to Supplements in the Spotlight. I'm Dr Tristan. This week the UK's Daily Mirror featured an article on female hair loss. Female hair loss is often complicated by micronutrient deficiencies, deficiencies in the diet, such as a lack of iron, maybe after pregnancy or maybe after the menopause, which can lead or contribute towards hair loss. One of the supplements that was mentioned in the Daily Mirror's article was Biliscal, a leading supplement in hair loss, a compound product with many strong customer reviews and celebrity endorsement. They offer male and female supplements. Indeed, they claim to be the most researched hair supplement available. There are a range of uncontrolled studies, often confounded by the application of agents such as minoxidil, but they are all, however small, they all show an improvement in the Viviscal arm against placebo of reduced hair loss or increased density of hair. Indeed, 1992 studies onwards can be found. Two tablets should be taken twice a day for at least the first three to six months and then the dose can be halved. As I've mentioned, two formulations are available and we're going to go through the female formulation which is more comprehensive than that of the male. So the first component would be marine protein complex. I can only think that the inclusion is due to cysteine. Cysteine has been associated with increased hair count. However, this is a claim that hasn't been substantiated sufficiently to be authorised as a health claim in the eyes of the EU. Vitamin C is included. Now vitamin C, I can only think has been included as an antioxidant or to increase the absorption of iron. I can find very little in terms of its direct evidence and efficacy in preventing or ameliorating the effects of hair loss. Vitamin B3 is included. Now vitamin B3 is associated with testosterone levels and therefore hair loss. However, again, it's not authorised as a health claim in the eyes of the EU. What is, is vitamin H, and that is included. Authorised for the maintenance of normal hair. In addition, iron is included. Now, iron has been shown to be lower in male and female pattern baldness observational studies. However, where there is no deficiency, it's not been shown to improve the prognosis with regards to hair loss. Horsetail extract is included in there. I have found nothing but quotes on horsetail extract. I'd welcome any feedback on it. I can find no evidence whatsoever. Millet seed extract is included. Now, millet seed increases anagen levels versus placebo. Anagen involved in producing hair and strengthening hair as stimulus. But again, it's not been clearly substantiated. There are no dose level studies or hardly any dose level studies for many of these components. They would need to be established through thorough trials. Indeed, a randomised controlled trial would be required for Viscal itself. However, despite this, what can be said is that there could be benefit in taking a compound product such as Viviscal to ameliorate, to improve any deficiency that could be there. In addition, if we take away the superfluous celebrity endorsement and we just look at the small scale of trials, there is a small evidence base there, even if complicated by topical applications. And on top of that, there are many positive customer reviews.